Hello everyone, my name is Captain Bardock, and welcome to this week's Suboptimal Guide. Today we're going to be going over Astera. Now there are a lot of features in Astera. Uh, the primary ones being the, the different people you interact with. Uh, there are several quest boards located throughout Astera. This one here, the one up in the canteen, and then the one by the armory. This is the Resource Center. What the Resource Center does is allows you to register bounties. These bounties will give you armor spheres, which are needed to upgrade your equipment. You can also do investigations here. You get investigations from breaking parts on monsters, picking up footprints, that kind of thing. Uh, in addition to the, the regular bounties you yourself can select, there are limited bounties, also referred to as the weeklies, that will give you special prizes for completing them. And what these special rewards from the limited bounties do leads right into our next station here in Astaire, the Elder Melder. What you can do with the Elder Melder is melt almost any item in the game. Anything from potions, to traps, to flash pods. It also allows you to meld certain monster parts at the cost of your research points. So like some of the some of the harder to get materials because you have to break a specific part. Or it's like the rare drop, like the plates, or even the gems. So that's all, that's quite nice. There's You can also meld decorations if you're having trouble getting them. Just some of the just just some of the more basic ones like thunder attack up or fire resistance or you know something like that. You have to have gotten one first, but once you do, you don't have to try and RNG your way into getting it again. There's also the first Wyvarian ritual, which will allow you to sacrifice some of the decorations you don't want in an attempt to get some of the ones that you do want. Now I unfortunately don't really have a lot of decorations, so I can't really uh, demonstrate this very well. Um, maybe I can at least get one in here. Alrighty. So I'm going to try and turn those three ice res jewels into something else. So let's see what we got. I mean, it's not great, but I'll take it. Next up, we have the Argosi Captain. He shows up right here. He carries three different sets of goods. Consumable goods account goods, and then material goods. Material goods is monster parts. He will randomly give you different monster parts. Consumable stuff is stuff like flash pods, potions, trap tools, things like that. And then account items is stuff that you can... It's basically a way to trade your points in for money. So he'll bring you stuff like beautiful scales and stuff like that that sell for a couple thousand dollars a piece. All right, moving up onto the platform here, we have the Ecological Researcher. And what this guy does is he updates your hunter's notes with information based on how based on how many times you fought them. So the higher your research level, the more knowledge you have of that monster. And the more research you have of that monster, the easier it is to get investigations through the research center. It'll also tell you in your research notes when you've when you've gotten a gold crown of either size. Gold crown large, gold crown small. It'll also tell you the uh, the monster's weaknesses. What your rewards are for carbs, and what your rewards are for capturing the monster. Which is also quite nice. Next up we have the Botanical Research Center. And what this allows you to do is to farm stuff that you can actually go out and gather. So right now I've got honey, ivy, and spider webs because I need more pitfall traps. You don't really need the honey for that, but it's always good to have a lot of honey. Um, there are different quests that you can do to unlock different resources. Dang it, Pookie, why you gotta do this to me? Alrighty, moving upstairs, we've got the armory and the blacksmith. What the armory does is give you quests to, un to unlock different mantles, and it also allows you to buy base armors as well as weapons. So you can buy the iron hammer or the bone hammer for a, for only using money as opposed to this guy who will allow you to forge those equipments at the cost of resources and a discounted price. So you can pay an extra 100 zenny and basically not use any resources. Um, I mean, I'm sure you all have figured out how the armory works. You forge equipment, you can upgrade equipment, you can make cat armor. Next up, you've got your own room. It's going to look a little bit different depending on how far into the story you've gotten. Uh, this is the private suite, which is the final room that you are given in the game. 
Place lots of pets. I've got just a bunch of stuff floating about and doing its thing. Uh, from here, you can access the housekeeper. And what the housekeeper allows you to do is deploy your tail raiders so you don't have to keep going to the research society. You can also go to the training room. And, you, and this is also where you claim add-ons and bonuses like DLC and stuff like that if you decide to buy some from the Steam Workshop. Up, we have the canteen, which I'm sure you've all become very accustomed with with our board, the Meow's Killer Chef. You can also pick up quests here through the handler. But what this does is allow you to get pre-hunt pre buffs. So, the way this works is, I'm just going to go into this briefly because it's, it's a pretty advanced topic as well. So, every meal will give you different skills. And you have a different activation chance based on the freshness of the ingredients. So if I eat this meal, 3 star activation chance means I'm going to get Fisher, Sharpshooter, and Acrobat. But if I eat something like this meal, I only have a one star chance to getting to getting these to activate. So what you want to do until you get to high rank and are doing specific things for specific builds, you want to try and eat the one that gives you the most health and the most stamina. Alrighty, the very last place on our journey of Astera is the Gathering Hub. Now, the Gathering Hub is probably somewhere not a lot of you have been, unless you're in multiplayer lobbies. But this is the place that basically allows you to see all your friends and to interact with them. Um, you can play games with them, like arm wrestling. Uh, this is also where you pick up arena quests, as well as limited time quests that are going to be coming in the near future. But I mean, it's just, it's a cool place to hang out. Now, this has been the journey of Astera. Um, if you have anything that I missed or would like me to cover more thoroughly, please let me know down in the comments. And other, and other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.